this year we had over 250 teamsters from all different locals, different unions, marching in that pride parade under a big, huge teamsters float that was made by union members. Can you imagine how exhilarating that is? I've been getting calls from all over Teamster land of other people, other unions, uh, other locals that want to participate in their pride events. And so far we, we have, we supported Salt, places that you might not even think would, would be able to do it. Salt Lake City, Utah, we supported their pride parade. Albuquerque, New Mexico, there's, there's uh, locals all over that are, once they see it and they go, hey, I didn't know, so many people say this, I didn't know we could be in pride. And now they're empowered. So that's setting off a chain reaction. And that's going to be the same thing with your workers and the people that you organize. People are going to say, I didn't know I could do that without being fired. Or I didn't know someone would have my back if I did get mm -hmm. under pressure. Because that's the thing is that they're going to think twice. You know, maybe you're that kid walking alone to school through a kind of a scary neighborhood and you're a little different looking and you're worried every day that you're going to get jumped or something like that. But if you have some great big friends walking with you, that are shit kickers who don't take any crap from people, you're going to ha have a lot better chance of getting to school and being able to do the things you need to do than you would all by yourself.